Good morning, good morning, good good Saturday morning. Grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I hope and pray that you're all doing well this morning. Welcome back to Coffee in the Word. All right, get a little coffee here. First sip of the day. Oh, good stuff. Oh, having uh, the taste of San Antonio this morning. Good stuff. All right. Well, this morning, we're going to start off once again in Psalm 62, and then we have a reading in Jeremiah, and then we're going to the Gospel of Luke. So, let's get started. Psalm 62, verses 5 through 12. And as always, may God bless the reading of his word. For God alone, O oh my soul, wait in silence. For my hope is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation, my fortress. I shall not be shaken. On God rest my salvation and my glory. My mighty rock, my refuge is God. Trust in him at all times, O oh people. Pour out your heart before him. God is a refuge for us. Selah. Those of low estate are but a breath. Those of high estate are a delusion. In the balances they go up. They are together lighter than a breath. Put no trust in extortion. Set no vain hopes on robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart on them. Once God has spoken, twice have I heard this, that power belongs to God, and that to you, O Lord, belongs steadfast love. For you were rendered to a man according to his work. <clears throat> good stuff, good stuff. All right, uh, the next lesson, the uh, Old Testament lesson, Jeremiah chapter 20, verses 14 through 18. Cursed be the day on which I was born, the day when my mother bore me. Let it not be blessed. Cursed be the man who brought the news to my father. A son is born to you making him very glad. Let that man be like the cities that the Lord overthrew without pity. Let him hear a cry in the morning and an alarm at noon. Because he did not kill me in the womb, so my mother would have been my grave and her womb forever great. Why did I come out from the womb to see toil and sorrow and spend my days in shame? Well, hmm. That's what it says. <laughs> All right. Uh, the, uh, the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 10, verses 13 through 16. And this is the uh, woe to unrepentant sent cities. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the mighty works done in you had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago, sitting in sackcloth and ashes. But it will be more bearable in the judgment for Tyre and Sidon than for you, and you, Capernaum. Will you be exalted to heaven? You shall be brought down to Hades. The one who hears you hears me, and the one who rejects you rejects me, and the one who rejects me rejects him who sent me. This is the word of the Lord this morning. Wow. All right. Let's go to the Pray Now app and I'll read the prayer of the day. All right. Let us pray. Lord and Father of all, you looked with favor upon Sarai in her advanced years, putting her on a new name, Sarah, <clears throat> and with it the promise of multinous blessings from her aged womb. Give us a youthful hope in the joy of our new name, being baptized into the promised Messiah, that we too might be fruitful in your kingdom, abounding in the works of your Spirit, through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Well, the prayer had mentioned Sarah, and uh, so there's a paragraph here, and I'd like to share it with you. So here we go. Sarah was the wife of the Hebrew patriarch Abraham. In obedience to divine command, she made the long and arduous journey west 
along with her husband and his relatives, from Ur the Chaldeans to Huram, and then finally to the land of Canaan. She remained childless until old age. Then, in keeping with God's long-standing promise, she gave birth to a son, an heir of the covenant. She is remembered and honored as the wife of Abraham and the mother of Isaac, the second of the three patriarchs. She is also favorably noted for her hospitality to strangers. Following her death at the age of 127, she was laid to rest, rest in the cave of Machpelah, where her husband was later buried. Interesting. Always interesting. Always. All right, well. I hope and pray that you all have a fantastic day. Have an awesome weekend. It's uh, it's gotten cold here again. It's only thirty degrees, but uh, that's that's cold, but not uh, not the twenty degrees we had last week. But uh, anyway, hope y'all are staying warm. Uh, so with that, be safe, be happy, and be blessed. We'll see you tomorrow on Coffee and the Word. God bless. <music>